details all the it, there, there is not even a single bit of discussion up here about riding whether it be with our legislative reps or the the reps from the forest division all the things that these folks do all winter long so um, I, I I just want to tell you from, from the Snowman Safari Club that we appreciate everything you do and, and please don't take any of this as a, a, an indictment of things that we think you should be doing that you haven't been doing because you guys do a great job. I think all this is wonderful uh, and, and I look forward to the to heading in that direction but I think they do a great job already. So I Uh, in a different way than Mackinac City. Mackinac City, I opened up the floor. I don't think we're going to do that tonight. <laughs> but I will invite you to open up the floor yourself. Send emails, send letters, pick up the phone, do something. If you've got some more information, some more opinions to give, I think this communication has to go two ways. You know where the office is, you've got the 800 number, you know their uh, email address. Um, share your information with them. Uh, that way, and I, I can see that in the future the MSA is going to be working to share information back. Uh, I want to thank, you know, Jim for giving me a call, Karen for all the <coughs> putting up with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and no, I'll send you the mail. Bill, John, these guys are great to work with. It's been a, a great to work with you guys. Paul's going to kill him, but I'll give him a second. Go ahead. I just, I just want everybody to give Rick a big round of applause for what he's done. He missed his hockey game. Uh, and he did, he did a lot of work to put this all together. And uh, yeah, so it was appreciated. And all the, all the MSA folks that came this way, uh, that was a huge step for a lot of us to see that you made the, the effort to come over. So we, we appreciate that. And. Uh, I look forward to, yeah, you guys need anything at all from me, I've told Don, uh, everybody should know I'm, what I got yours, so let me know. Don, the floor is yours, close. Jim, uh, you want to say a couple things before we wrap this up? Well, I just want to say just a couple of things here real quick, and, and when you go away from the meeting tonight, I hope you go away with the feeling that you helped us come up with a, putting together a plan. We are busy. All these things that, that Rick mentioned, we are involved in. I testified at the Pigeon River Forest hearing I had uh, here a couple weeks ago. You talked about partnering. I partnered with the horse people because the horse people got throughout of most of the Pigeon River. They still have a loop they can ride in. Snowmobilers, as, as it ended up, we are still, right now, be able to ride two tracks and county roads in, in the Pigeon River. Uh, but that's still subject to a, a vehicle management plan that the DNR has got to come up with yet. We need to be, I mean, snowmobilers need to be on the wagon and go to those meetings and they do that to make sure we're not totally kicked out of the Pigeon River. Okay? Now, that being said, when you go, just think of one thing. We're all in this whole thing together. The, the heart of the snowmobiling that we love to do is dependent upon the grant sponsors, the people that do the grooming, maintain the trails, keep track of everything. We as a rider then have a responsibility to support them, to make sure that they have the volunteers and that they have the funds to purchase the equipment they need. That comes in through the trail permit cost. They get some, we get some money from the gas tax. We get a little bit of money, $25 of the registration fee goes into that uh, trail improvement program. So the history has shown us right now that the registrations are down, trail permits are down, and gas tax is down. Gas tax is based on gallons sold, not on the price. Okay, so price, because the price goes up, gallons being sold is going down, so we're getting less money coming in from those other two avenues. So the only way to make sure that the grant sponsors have the money they need to operate on and to keep the trails the way we want them so we have a good place to ride <coughs> is through a trail permit increase. And that's in the makings right now. Uh, membership. Uh, each one of you had, uh, I think, some flyers out there. Take them, give them to your friends. Uh, get them back to Dave, send them into the office or whatever. It's all dependent on membership. But we're all in it together, whether you're a rider, a groomer, or a business person. Because when we are out riding, the business people are happy because we're buying food, we're, we're buying parts, we're buying motel rooms, we're buying the fuel. We're supporting them. 
We have our commercial membership list. It's in the magazine. It's a list of those commercial members. It's patronize those people because those are people that are supporting us. They support Snowmobile. They're supporting us. We need to get more of them involved. So just think of it. We're all in it together. We need to support each other so we can maintain the systems that we have and so we can continue to ride. And I guess the old guys you guys are talking about is probably me and Dave. Uh, I'm a snowmobile. I'm the only one on our, on our board that's not in the uh, grant sponsor. Don's grant sponsor. All the other board members are grant sponsors. I'm a writer. Uh, I love to do that. And just myself, I cover about 5,000 miles a year. Uh, we talk, The sound issue didn't get talked much about today. But believe me, I, I'm fully supportive of that, of the legislation that passed. And this is the board. We needed that. But just to give you some background on me, I'm an old drag racer. I drag race cars for over 20 years. I love the sound of a tuned up car, tuned up sled, open chamber, pipes, whatever. But when it comes down to snowmobiling on private property, we can't be out there running our sleds down there making noise and disturbing these people who shut off our trails. Um, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Don, hit it. When we left Mackinac City, my mind was going like, holy smokes, there's a lot of information. Tonight we're here just a short few hours. We got a lot of good information, a lot of good input. It's going to take time. Don't give up on us. Because there's a lot of information that we're already working on. MSA. When that was brought up, I kind of snickered a little bit because at our last board meeting, we had a prior meeting Friday night so we could discuss the new magazine. Jim and I said, you know what? Jim, I'm only 50. I I'm, I'm, I guess I'm the old guy. I, I'm kind of an old guy now. I, I'm, I'm looking going, when I come back from, from Korea in 83, my old man was 48. I'm going, boy, is he old. You know, he wasn't that old, really. <laughs> so, uh, put, put in perspective, we looked at this and we said, you know what, we have to do something different with this. Because we felt that we want the young guys on board with us. Mm -hmm. We have to. The old guys have the time. The young guys have the mind. And we have to combine them together. Because without the old guys, a lot of stuff's not going to be done. But the young guys got the technology. They've, they've got some time. You take and spin this back several, 25, 30 years ago, yeah, the internet wasn't there. Fast, fast relationships weren't there. Now the internet's there. Let's utilize it. Because it's there. If you don't progress, you get left behind. And that's the last thing we want to happen to this organization. A lot of great snowmobilers out there. <clears throat> I personally get a chance to talk to a lot of snowmobilers. Two years ago, I said, you know what, I become president. If I could become president, I want to get out and visit the grant sponsors, talk to snowmobilers, get everybody on board, because there's a disconnect. It needs to be reconnected. So if you guys have an idea to make this logo a little different, Please bring it forward because we need to do something. It, with our magazine, same way we talked about our magazine. This magazine format's been around forever. It's not bad, but we need to change it. And that's what this whole planning session is called, <coughs> change. A lot of people don't like change. But if you don't change, again, you get left behind. So I could go on here forever. I appreciate each and every one of you coming out and spending some time. This is a good hockey game. I'll be winning. What's that? 3 1. Is it 3 1? <laughs> Still <laughs> time to get the chill. Oh, we can get 5 1 yet, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make a quick call in my bookie. No. But, anyways, I appreciate it. I know I know Bill and Karen spent a lot of time, and, and we've got a lot of information from the internet shortly. Just recently, we've We've partnered up with an uh, with an um, internet guy, trying to get some good information out there um, in a timely manner. To say we want to get on the forums and we want to have a, a live, pretty much a live internet, which we have to have. 